In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to scan photos or documents using the Image Capture app. Image Capture comes built into every Mac and can be found in the Applications folder. For Image Capture to work for scanning, you of course need to have a scanner installed. That's done in the Printers and Scanners System Preference pane. For more on installing a printer or scanner, view the macOS Core Concepts tutorial available at themacu.com. This method of scanning will work for the vast majority of scanners and multifunction printers, but some may use custom software that may or may not work with image capture. I have a Canon multifunction printer installed. Notice the Scan tab here. I can begin scanning right from System Preferences by clicking the Open Scanner button. This opens what essentially is image capture although the application name takes on the name of the scanner. So instead, let's quit this and System Preferences and then launch Image Capture. Here under Shared Devices, the Canon Multifunction Printer appears. To the right is the same scanning interface that came up when I clicked the Open Scanner button in System Preferences. So we can click the Scan button here and get right to it. To the left in these menus is the destination the scan will be saved to. After about a minute, the scan is complete and is saved on my desktop. But we get much more control over the scan by clicking the Show Details button. When I do this, the scanner will do a quick preview scan, which will appear in this window. To the right, I can dial in the exact settings for the scan. We're going to look at a few of the most important settings here. First, we have the scan mode and kind. I'm using the flatbed scanner, which means that I've laid the items to be scanned onto the glass surface of the scanner. Next, we have resolution. If you're scanning photos, like I am in this example, you'll probably want to scan at a minimum of 300 dpi for a high quality scan that could be reprinted and still look okay. Next we're going to go down to auto selection. Choosing detect separate items should tell the scanner to make separate scans of each photo on the scanner. It doesn't work very well in this case though. So what I need to do is turn auto selection off then just click and drag a box around each photo. This will tell the scanner to make a separate file for each box. So after this scan, I'm going to end up with three separate image files. Next we can set the destination of the scan, or where it's going to be saved. I'm going to send this to my desktop, and the name is going to be Scanned Photos. Here in Format Options, JPEG will be the best in most instances. If you want the absolute highest image quality though, select TIFF, which is a lossless image format. Below that are several options that will tweak the look of the scan. Change the Image Correction menu to Manual, and we can then adjust things like Brightness and Saturation. I almost always prefer to do any adjustments like this after scanning. So I'm going to leave these all set to None. With that all set, I'm ready to click the Scan button. When the scan completes, I have three JPEGs on my desktop. Scan Photos 1, 2, and 3. I could now open these in the Preview app or any other image editor and make the necessary changes such as rotation or color adjustments. After that, I could then import them into the Photos app. So that was a flatbed scan of some photos. Next, we're going to switch the scanner to Document Feeder mode. Not every scanner will have this option. This is what the Document Feeder looks like on my scanner. This will allow me to scan several pages of a document at once. Rather than laying it down on the scanner one page at a time, which obviously can be a huge time saver. 
In the kind setting, I'm going to switch to text, since the document being scanned has no images or graphics, just text. Under resolution, 150 dpi will be plenty for a document scan like this. Below, you'll probably want to match the paper size of the documents in the scanner, which in my case is U.S. letter. The other commonly used size will probably be U.S. legal, which is a couple inches longer. I will again save the scan to the desktop, and in the format, choose PDF. Under that, I want to check Combine into a Single Document. This tells the scanner to put every page in the document feeder into the same PDF file. Click Scan and the pages are fed through the document feeder one at a time. When the scan is complete, we have a four-page PDF that can be opened up and annotated in Preview or Acrobat. So that's a quick look at how to scan on your Mac with the Image Capture app. As I mentioned earlier, Image Capture might not work with every scanner out there. But for the vast majority, it's going to be the most efficient and best option for scanning. Learn much more about using your Mac, iPad, or iPhone at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.